This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Let's log in. Oh, this is different. This is DDLC Plus, so it's a little bit different from regular DDLC. Let's go. In case that warning didn't get you, um... Yeah, this is game is not what it may seem. Also, it, it seems that I can't, uh... I booted this up for the first time, just so that way I could, uh... Make sure it would record properly. But... It seems like it... Then I uninstalled it and reinstalled it. It apparently remembers everything. So that's inter interesting. Let's turn down the music a little bit. That's better. I don't want the music overpowering me entirely. So, uh, yeah, this is Doki Doki Literature Club. Looks pretty normal. Looks, well, cutesy like your traditional dating simulator. It's anything but, though. Anyhow, I think I think we just need to experience it ourselves. Alright? <laughs> for this Halloween adventure, just, you know, but be ready for scares. Let's start a new game. Oh, and because it's a visual novel and it has no it has no voice acting, so I'm gonna have to do all the voice acting, including the voices for all of the girls. So that's gonna suck, but also maybe it'll be fun. Hey! I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> I overslept again! But I caught you this time! Maybe, but only just because I decided to stop and wait for you. Ah, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me! That's mean, Artie. It remembered that I inputted my name as Artie. Cool. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think that we're a couple or something. How embarrassing would that be? Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even, even if you want to. I mean, he's already being kind of a jerk, to be honest. I mean, nowhere near as bad as Yuji from Fruit of Grisea, but that's a hard bar to go over. Whatever you say, Sayori. Hee <laughs> hee! We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Artie, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? <laughs> that's not mandatory. Why would I do that? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. All the clubs are just like... Science club, or <laughs> cooking club, like, I'm not, none of those really grab my interest. I haven't been looking, either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible I, that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. This guy's a jerk. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how worried that I was that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. <sighs> alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? What's up, Jay? Nice to see ya. Uh, <laughs> don't know if you know what this game's all about, but uh, it actually is a fitting game for Halloween, believe it or not. And you just made it in time for the beginning. Nothing's really happened. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess I've seen her worry about me so much she makes me want to ease her mind at least a little, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. 
Okay, yeah. So so you so you know. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen it though. Okay, well, I'm going to try to get through the whole game this stream. It might mean I have to stay up late. Uh, you know what? I'm willing to do that. It really depends on how long my voice lasts though. Nice to see you, though. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my fiends, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Fah! <laughs> Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. <laughs> I'm the only one left! I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. Well, yeah, they didn't want to actually have to use the assets to draw other students in here. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting in here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. No, what? I wish my sister was here to do the voices for the girls, because I can't do girls' voices, so you guys, you guys are going to have to bear with me. Well, I thought that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There is no way I'm going to your club. Ah! Meanie! Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. What's wrong with that? She's broadening her horizons, you know? Since she was the first one to show interest in the one who proposed... <laughs> After the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice president. Also, this is... Probably the best sprite in the game right here. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much, anyway? Well... Oh, this one's also good. Any pose where Sayori has twiddling her fingers is great. I kind of told the club yesterday that I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Hehe. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. I let out a lone sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes! Let's go! And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Bruh, your soul only costs one cupcake? <laughs> Are you kidding me? You don't sell your soul for anything, let alone something you, you could get like... A pack of 20 Hostess Cupcakes at the store for $5. Like, really? Is your is your soul worth less than a dollar? Come on, bro. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, the section of the school I rarely visit. Also, this hallway is like the most generic anime school hallway ever, and also it looks exactly like a hallway in one of my colleges. One of my colleges! In my college! One of the hallways there. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member's here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. There's literally nobody here. Oh, never mind, there is. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Girl one. That's best girl. <laughs> I like her name already. <laughs> yeah, I know. Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Artie, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Okay, we got girl one, girl two, girl three, Sayori, and then the MC. Wonderful. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls! What are you looking at? If you want to say something, then say it. S sorry Natsuki. Hmm. <laughs> The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first-year student. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, and then turns back to the other girls. Seems like she's gonna be in a mood for a lot of this. <laughs> anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. Really? She just kind of looks like a grouch. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. I don't know, Yuri, Yuri was the one who came right up and introduced herself, so, I mean, come on. Also, Yuri, Yuri's very cute. So is Sayori, though. Natsuki, I don't care much for, though. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. 
It's great to see you again, Artie. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, I mean, we rarely talked, but we're in the same class. We were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Y you too, Monica. Come sit down, Artie! We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. Uh, do I get a choice? I'll get the cupcakes! Hey, I made them! I'll get them! <laughs> Sorry, got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Well, you know, hey, sit, sit where you're comfortable, man. You do you. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil off of the tray to reveal a dozen f white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Those better be chocolate cupcakes. If they're not chocolate, then what is even the point? The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry up and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. Yuri doesn't get a cupcake because she's busy making tea in the closet. <laughs> It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. I hope I hope she did. Fondant is gross. <laughs> this is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. W why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Eh, I thought you technically did. Sayori said... Well, maybe, but not... You, you know, for you, dummy. Alright, alright, great. <laughs> Already off to a great start of Natsuki. I do not understand the Sundari archetype. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying the tea set. Sorry, Yuri, we already ate all of the cupcakes. All twelve of them. <laughs> she carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, th that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. That's not an insult. It's just we a weird thing to say. Uh, I meant that, you know... <laughs> okay, I believe you. <laughs> well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Well, I mean, n neither of those are things that I particularly enjoy. I'm trying to get back into reading, but... I don't know. All that reading I had to do in school kind of turned me off for a long time. As for tea, it's just herb water. What's the big deal? I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? The cupcakes! <laughs> um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I should not tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. The, each of the clubs have their own, like, board of directors? What is this? Is this just a Japanese thing, or is this just a weird Doki Doki thing? Weren't you a leader of, weren't you a leader of the, de the debate club last year? <laughs> oh, um, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for the events. Also, somebody threw a chair in my face last year. It was very, very terrible. Those debates can get heated. <laughs> I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Well, good for you, Monica. Monica's a really great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. And I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. 
If Monica's as popular, beautiful, smart, like, talented, and athletic as the game says she is, why aren't, like, all the guys in school like, Dude, Monica has a club. We're joining that one. Oh my gosh. It has cupcakes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Doki Doki's an onomatopoeia in uh, Japanese for, like, an intense heartbeat. Uh, you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these free. Well, I mean, Sayori was kind of a freebie, where it's just like, she's she's just so excited, like, Oh my gosh, you're starting a new club? I'll help! Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. This is where we have to fake being interested in books. So what was the last book you read? Uh, 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 the Berenstein Bears Too Much TV. <laughs> The TV shows on that looked so cool that I decided to watch it myself and then never read again. So, Artie, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Uh, manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that could change! What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Uh, anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. I could get behind that. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? That's what we call foreshadowing. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, uh, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Hey, some rocks are highly intelligent. Just look at Zumbinis. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. I, I can kind of relate to that. The, one of the hard parts about reading for me is just finding a book that I actually really like. Like, most of the time, if a book is just, like, okay, then I'm like, okay, I can read, like, a chapter or two, but then I kind of put it down. But if I read a book that's, like, truly gripping, I can't put it down. But it's really hard to find that. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. I'm kind of with you, Natsuki. Oh, wait, why am I playing this game, then? This is an exception that proves the rule. Oh, why is that? Well, I, I, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over me for a split second. Uh, ugh, never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? But what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! It was called My Friend Thelma. I plagiarized that one! <laughs> and give that back! Fine, fine. Hey, <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Say I can't do- I really suck at Sayori. I feel like Yuri's voice I can kind of do because it's just quiet. Sayori's voice is the hardest for me to do without a doubt, which is great. <laughs> Sayori sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! Natsuki averts her eyes. I mean, poetry is kind of weird to share. You wouldn't like them. She knows I don't like poetry. Like, even, even like, genuinely good poetry I'm not a fan of. Ah, I'm not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. 
Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> and that's where Yuri just melts. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. That, that, by the way, is the onomatopoeia for a question mark. <laughs> Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. Okay, here's my poem. I am Sam. Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Did you copy this from somewhere? What makes you think that? That way, everyone is even. Um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get to a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bonds of our club. I didn't say I have joined the club. I came for the cupcake and the girls. <laughs> Isn't that right, Artie? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Uh, hold on. There's still one problem. Uh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori might have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, well, I mean, you know, if, if, I, if I stay for longer than one meeting, everybody is going to know that I do not ever read and have no interest in it, and it's kind of hard to join a literature club if you're not at least slightly interested in literature. I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Yuri's eyes do not look very dejected. Nor do Natsuki. <laughs> Yuri just looks like, oh, well, you know, that makes sense, considering you're not that great, you're great of a reader. And Natsuki's just like, oh, you came, ate a cupcake, and left. You butt face. <laughs> and then Sayori and Monica both look very disappointed in me. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. Artie. You all. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. That will prove to be the worst decision of your life. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Uh, hey. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to next meeting and we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Artie, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress this class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? No, you cannot, actually. It's literally impossible. I already feel the anxiety welling up within inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. I mean, we ate 12 cupcakes, so there were a lot of crumbs. Uh, hey- Oh, hey, Artie, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs, whereas I was a a big dipwad and just walked home after school. Like, wow. Imagine just walking home after school without doing anything else. And actually, it makes a lot of sense. That's what I did. Yeah, sure, might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us depart with the club, the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monika. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Nope. <laughs> Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Well, is that so? All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. <laughs>